Welcome to Fandom Friday's Stranger Things Part 2. In this episode, we will be discussing the man, the myth, the legend, Eddie Munson, Dustin's impact on the older kids of the show, what songs would save us from Vecna, our own personal theories and fan theories on what's going to happen in Season 5, our favorite Stranger Things literature from our OCL collection, moments that hit us in the feels, and much, much more. Eddie, 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 where do we begin? <sighs> well, I feel like they always introduce the subculture aspect to, mm-hmm. like, this was the part of the 80s that were, yes. yeah, and the metalhead definitely was alive and well say, in like, the 80s. My, my initial reaction to him was like, Ugh, no. I was like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> like, when he's in the cafeteria, I guess, and he's not yeah. necessarily that nice. And I'm like, ah, really? Another Billy? Like, I'm not here for this. <laughs> because that's immediately what I thought of because he was kind of mean and he had the long hair. And I was like, great. Another jerk. I don't want this. But then he shocked me and I was like, talk about character arc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From his first scene to his last scene. Oh, my God. Like, so good. And really, so he good. only got 10 minutes of screen time or something ridiculously low. Really? Like total? Like, something mm-hmm. like that. Wow. Really? Like less than less than 20 minutes. It was long enough oh. to get into our hearts. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That whole <laughs> that scene oh, with him and Chrissy in the woods. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. That was the last scene they filmed, and then they were kicking themselves because they were like, this could have been something. <laughs> really could have been. Another one of my favorite scenes was when he was done with his guitar solo, and Dustin is like, this is so metal or whatever <laughs> it is he's metal oh my God. Ever. yeah most metal but oh my gosh it I is about that. dustin that he like manages to find these older well, friends well that, like, he are... has no father figure in his life mm-hmm. he just has his mom who's obsessed I feel like he does a lot of teaching yeah to these older yeah. kids and that's part of why they get better yeah there's, there's something that's deeper there that i hope comes out more because I still haven't quite put my finger on it Mm because Dustin does have these impacts on a lot of these characters you Mm -hmm. know it was the Farrah Fawcett scene with the Farrah Fawcett hairspray with Steve him with Eddie throughout and then it goes back to also to this beginning scene where he offered the pizza to Nancy he has these connections with these older characters and he said something in that first season two I think it was the first episode well you know Nancy used to be cool um yeah. so he has this thing and you know he's, he's got the only, a big heart <laughs> and he's the only one who doesn't have siblings either so you mm-hmm. know that single child syndrome where your friends are your family yeah and I love that with Eddie he was so quick to defend him because I think it was yeah. Max was like he's a murderer mm-hmm. and he was like no like he got it <laughs> down so fast he was like no way so I love that he sticks up for these people that are older than him and should be mm-hmm. sticking up for him. But it's mm-hmm. like he's a role model to them. Well, even and then too, he's younger. I wonder if his disorder that the character Dustin has with the clavicle crunching and all oh that my God, stuff. I know. <laughs> so like, I wonder if that too is another aspect, you know, to his confidence that he just sees what's good in other people. Yeah. And he makes it a point to bring it out to them. You know, because yeah, well, he's been like through that. so much. Because I think about and the he's bullies. Not judgmental. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The bullies yeah. in the first season, you know, where they're like, oh, do the thing with your shoulders. And he's like, all right. I don't know. He's just so mature, but also not. He's just a regular old kid. But like you said, he's so intelligent and he just has an emotional depth to him without being emotional, if that yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the thing with Eddie. It's so hard for me to wait for fan theories at the end, since we're talking about all these characters and we have all these (laughs) theories. Um, Throw them in there. Do we think Eddie's coming back or do we think he's gone? I would like him to come back. I think he might come back for like a flashback and be like a memory for Dustin, but I don't think he's coming back to the fullest extent. I saw something. Someone was like, if they bring back Eddie and I want to say it was Chrissy. And they were like, it'll just be the Eddie and Chrissy show, which I kind of agree with. I would love Eddie back. I love him so much. But 
I think we'll see him in flashbacks or something. I think he's going to come back, but I don't think he'll be back as Eddie. Have you guys seen these? Yeah, back the cast ab- theory about whatever that weird character is D and D character. Yeah, the cast theory. <laughs> Bitten by bats. He's like a king or something. Well, that would be cool. Know. He's a vampire. He vampire, was yeah. Vecna's lieutenant, second hand. Uh, then he'll be back. Guy. Maybe he'll be like. Does he? Is he helpful though? He helps Vecna, yeah. but then he betrays him. Betrays well, that's what I would, that would yeah. be cool. Yeah. I mean, if that you think, cool. oh no, Eddie's back and he's a bad guy, but then he turns around and he's like, yeah, <laughs> just But kidding. I think that theory is just so out there now. That's not something that they're going to do. Yeah, but my question is, are the Duffer brothers, do they know what's going to happen? Or are they using our theories? Right. To kind of m- push the story along. So I think they know what the ending is. They know the final scenes, but they don't know how it, it's going to get there. So it could be anything, but they could also change things at any point too. I would, I would love Eddie back, but I won't be surprised if I don't see him again. Same. Yeah, I definitely think he's going to be like how Billy was with Max this season yeah. and being like the vision probably for Dustin or. But can we oh, talk about? Okay, I'm sorry. I now that <laughs> I have just so, so such strong thoughts. How it ended. How everything took place. It was so deep and oh, traumatic. Yeah. And oh. it's like two days later, they're volunteering at the soup kitchen. Yeah, like that uh, last scene. They just should have ended with all the trauma. No, two days later, just leave it as is. That that, were, that was what I was thinking. Yeah. Like a lot happened in that end scene. You know, Dustin was able to give Eddie's uncle closure, which was a great (laughs) scene, but it left a little flat for me. And I don't know how. I don't really get how his uncle was like, okay. Yeah. It was just like, he kind of just accepted it and wasn't, I don't know. I just feel like, what? (laughs) <laughs> but that's how the whole scene was for me. It was yeah, yeah. just those last scenes, you know, and then, and Robin got to make the sandwiches with the girl she liked and they were flirting. That was mm. cute. And Steven's in the back. Like, oh yeah. Like that's <laughs> great for my friend. It had good moments, but again, it was just so weird. What was the content of that conversation with the uncle that ended with the uncle being like, okay, because the rest of the greater area doesn't know that this stuff is happening. Right. Right. So the people we see know that weird stuff is going on and that this is not the rules of the world that we know, but the rest of the people don't know. So like what kind of two minute conversation could you have with someone that's, oh, okay. Because he just yeah, kind of said he died a hero in and the, like, in didn't the earthquake, like, in the earthquake, in the earthquake, in the earthquake. Yeah, whatever it was, he was trying to save people or something like that. Which, I mean, in theory, yes, that's true. But yeah, for the uncle to just be like, yeah, okay. And same with Mike's parents. Where were yeah. the kids? They're Where? always like, yeah. right. I know. And I know yeah. that's such an 80s trope of the kids. And I stayed out till midnight. And no one cared where I was. But if there was a giant earthquake or tornado ripping through, you're just going to let your kids go and donate yeah, their time? Not, I don't know. Oh, it was just donate, bizarre. Yeah. I, always donate your time, of course. Like, please volunteer. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But about it. like while it was happening, they weren't like, um, where are the children? Yeah. Now, this brings me to Mike's mom. Do we think Mike's oh, yeah. mom has a greater thing to all of this she's in the main credits but that might be just because she's a well-established actress but she also got a character poster with vecna's house in the background i thought she was gonna do a lot more because of that me too i thought she was gonna have way more to do with the whole she really did nothing right in this season i don't think she was there like wasn't really there till the end yeah for the most part and it was just Finding my son, right? Yeah, it was just, yeah. I'm, I'm the mom. Yeah. Yeah. Situation. yeah. I don't know, but oh, something's yeah. just not right there. Yeah, I don't know what she really has to do with it. I mean, maybe something, but. Mm-hmm. Well, there is the theory that she's Vecna's sister that oh, didn't yeah. die. I guess she <laughs> kind of fits the same yes, age. Who is she? There's so many people we haven't talked about. <laughs> Jason, Who's who? The, uh, the therapist too. Is she just? Oh. Is she oh, just yes. a therapist? They're all connect. They all go see her. 
with the clock necklace. The clock necklace. Oh, I didn't catch that. Are they just trying to throw us off? Is she going to be nothing? It's too much. And I can't wait till 2024 to get these answers. Let me tell you. But the makeup artist just said that all of Eddie's tattoos were just random. I was like, were they random? He died from bats and he has bats on him. And he has the puppet master tattoo. And he has a Black Widow spider, which is Vecna's signature. Uh, Yeah. Character. Thing. really <laughs> he's got a vampire head on him like he's got allegory he... written all over him yeah like and they were like well we didn't know he was gonna get killed by bass and we didn't know that this was gonna happen i'm just like all right i don't know i don't know either i beg to differ they knew moments that hit you in the feels hands down lucas and max oh, in God. The, that one and when lucas is calling for erica for help Okay, that was an ad lib. I don't cry often. That That one had me hysterical, bawling. It was so painful to watch. And when he's just calling for his sister, and I heard that it was ad libbed, and I think that Mm -hmm. was great. And but it just, I I know we talked about Erica before, but that goes back to um, just that arc of she's always making fun of Lucas from day one. You know when she's like just this tiny little thing thinking he's the biggest dork and that connection between siblings and oh my gosh and that song is it the Moby song that's playing in the background the song that's playing when he's holding Max Mm -hmm. oh my gosh that got me it's so good it's it's so bad it's good (laughs) I, I don't think we can not mention Eddie's final scene oh gosh yes (laughs) with him and dustin and the pre-established relationship and the fact that kept saying he's no hero and then no hero yeah he he, uh he went out like that after like one of the most epic guitar scenes in history oh i was just gonna say the dread that hit me when like eddie was didn't go back with dustin oh Oh, yeah i was yelling i was screaming i was like (laughs) Don't do this to me. Take anyone else but Eddie. <laughs> Feeling the whole time that. Oh, yeah. There was, he was no way. Going. I would have loved yeah. to see him to the end, but, yeah. you know, he almost got there. My moment and feels, I don't know if this counts, but mine is when we call him in the lab. One. Henry. Henry one. Is he Henry? What is. I don't know. Is he evil or is he still pretending to be nice? He's changing. All right. It's that point where he's telling the story about his upbringing, you know, and how this all happened. So intense. I was just on the edge of my seat when he starts to like, it really builds the story and you really are. Oh my God. But after he tells a story and he starts you doing his thing. And the first time he cocks his head, I was just like, are you a Jamie Campbell what? Bauer fan? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. As an actor, yeah. And like him yeah. at, in this character, yes. I've only seen him in one other thing in Sweeney Todd. And he was singing his little heart out. And he's so good. So <laughs> talented. But I don't know what it was. That whole sequence. And then when he starts to make things go. And I was just like, oh, my God. Forget Eleven. <laughs> and her powers. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is it. You know, he's a villain and you're not supposed to like him, but I was just like feeling all the things, the acting and everything put together. It slaps. It was busted. It so was. That is so true. But, you know, I know how you just said with him being a villain, it still goes back to child trauma because Papa, it's Papa's Mm -hmm. fault. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry. It's true. Outburst. I know he's probably, yeah, maybe he wouldn't have been a villain if things were different, but it's another character. I I think he's pretty much a sociopath. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, probably, but I just loved, I loved it. It So good. I mean, we can't can't wait. Still like him. I can't wait to see what happens (laughs) with him. And like their fight, his fight with Eleven. Oh my God. So cool. I don't know what feel it got me in, but (laughs) the scenes with Hopper and the escape and the torture and then realizing they got sold out. That minute when you're watching and you're like, 
they just did all of this stuff and they are going back. Him with the with oh. the peanut butter when he's in that church thing by himself and then he finds out, yeah, that he has to escape there. Oh my God. I felt so bad for him in that moment. Yeah. You're like, I don't know how you've survived this long and now you're back at square one. Because it was a very suspenseful process of getting as far as he got and then being like, oh, no. It really was. Because then I remember at one point when a helicopter went down, I was like, they're in the middle of Russia. Yeah. How are they going to get back to Hawkins? He's got it, like I no shoes. Exactly. Like, I felt such, yeah. how is this going to play out? Mm-hmm. And then to go and fight all that stuff, the fighting scenes with the mm-hmm. fire and the Demogorgon. Oh, my goodness. That was wild. You're right. Yeah, so I, good. I feel like there was so much other stuff happening back in the U.S. that those scenes are easy to not remember. But they were huge. Not good things happening in Russia. And it was all the parents. It was yes. all the authority figures. It was all, you oh, know, yeah. except Mike's parents who don't even count. Oh, God, Sorry. his dad is such a dud. Right. Like <laughs> any anyone we could call for help, we can't call for exactly. help because they need help. Exactly. Yeah. And even Jonathan was just in the middle of the desert in a surfer boy <laughs> pizza car. I mean, they're on their way, but that thing does not get good gas mileage. So <laughs> I can't oh, go boy. without saying because every season there is that moment where they're all separated. The kids are doing one thing. The teens are doing another thing. And the adults, that was especially too true in the first season. But that final scene where they all come together and they all put their minds together and stop the big bad. There was a scene in season three, the mind flare thing. And you see Hopper's foot crush it and pans up and you see like all of them and they're all together and they're going to kick some butt. <laughs> But one of the earlier scenes that I was like, oh, this show is for real. And I talked about it a little earlier is when they find Will's body in quotes Mm -hmm. and all the kids are there and they have that reaction and that song plays in the background. And I definitely the first time and every time I've seen it since I've cried during that scene. Is that the scene where Mike gets so upset and he like takes off? Is it at night? Yeah, yeah, it is. And yeah. they're like sneaking around. And they mm-hmm. they pull the body from the quarry or something. Yeah, That's so evil what for song that. What is that? It's the it's... Peter Gabriel one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think so. that was common throughout the show. I'm sorry. I'm Googling song playing when they find fake Will. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just not coming up as quickly as I anticipated. So we, We're librarians. We can figure this out. I know. Under we'll pressure. have to do a part two. I mean, we could do a podcast just on the music alone. Oh, yeah. Speaking of songs, what is everyone's Vecna song? What song would save you from Vecna? Oh, hard. I tried thinking of this last night. I really... (laughs) I want to hear Laura's because I know Laura has an answer. I would need a Vecna playlist. (laughs) (laughs) Like one song from each genre. I mean... Um, Do you have a favorite 80s song? That well, I, do, I do have a favorite 80s song. And actually, I was going to propose that question to narrow it down a bit for us. What would be your favorite Vecna 80s song? So if we're going to do that, my favorite 80s song right now, I think it's, is it Dead or Alive is the band? You spin me right round, baby, oh. right round. <laughs> like that song, that's the one. I, I can't stop listening to that one. So if I go 80s song, it would be that. If I had to pick grunge 90s it would be pearl jam black that's what i wrote down here but you know what song always gets me going daft punk one more time that would be a good one too i'd be dancing my way out of the upside down (laughs) 80s i would say probably talking heads good one maybe burning down the house is that even from the 80s i don't know (laughs) sounds good to me it's 83 (laughs) excellent there's so many. So many. It's not 80s, but it's close. And you could listen to it in the 80s. I would say Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Good one. That's a great yeah. one. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, I was racking my brain That's... and all I could come up with was something from like the musical Rent because I was always so big on that. Mm. If I was doing right now, it would have to be something Lizzo. Because yes. like it just <laughs> makes you happy. It pumps you up. I feel like I could 
do anything and be anyone when I'm listening to it. So that's what I would do. Probably sure. like I, maybe I tempo or... Or if we're talking right in this very moment, and this is going to age this podcast episode, <laughs> if you're on TikTok, the new rendition of that little boy eating corn. Just a but can pumpkin we talk- <laughs> No, song. you know, I decided, I decided my song would be Chrissy Wake Up. Oh, yeah. There you go. Can you say that? <laughs> Wake yep. Up. Hey, the 22 playlist. <laughs> yep. Uh, or the um, Reba McIntyre song that's on TikTok. I work two jobs and have a lot. I don't know that one. I don't Chrissy know, Wake good. Up has been the song of the summer. <laughs> it's true. Or any ABBA song. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me a man after midnight. All my summer has been ABBA. So, like, yeah, I am so early with that. Yeah. Chachilia, I don't think you said a song yet. No, I wrote down I Was Made for Loving You by Kiss. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I dedicate that to Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Any Kiss song, really. Yeah. And I like White Snake, Here I Go Again. <laughs> Here I Go Again. On the- right? That's that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at yeah. this. It's pretty good. <laughs> Monster Jams. Does anyone remember that CD? In, uh, it was one of those Time Life by the CD on the commercial, and it was yeah. Mr. Mister. I'm the one who wants to. Oh, yeah, that's good too. You. <laughs> um, Bonnie Tyler's holding out for a hero. Good one. That yeah. one's good. That's a good one. Or like the whole Footloose soundtrack. Yep, yep. <laughs> or Danger Zone, Top huh? Gun. That oh, was yeah. made in new. I always liked that one. Literally, you could make an anthology for me of what my Vecna song would be. <laughs> but what and, would the character songs be? That would be fun. To oh, talk my about gosh. One day. That, that, we, <laughs> we one day. I'm not saying right now. One day we should talk about next year. Maybe. Yeah. That would be <laughs> fun. Oh, what would Dustin want? I don't know. Story. <laughs> the <ranting laughs> the story. Yeah. Story, right? Oh, yeah. Right. We should talk about. Stranger Things items we have in our catalog. So there's comics, novels, the TV show is also in our catalog. Soundtracks, yeah. The mm-hmm. soundtrack, I think, is on Free Goal. I am actively reading through Hoopla, one of our digital databases that you could get ebooks and audiobooks with. It is one of the comic books, which is called Stranger Things Library Edition, Volume 1, and it has issues 1 through 4 in it. I think I'm on issue number three, where it's Dustin at space camp, and it has such a Friday the 13th vibe to it, which is pretty cool. And it's actually kind of scary, the drawings, the bad guy that's in it gets me worried at night, (laughs) but um, it's pretty good. Has anyone read those yet? No, I haven't, but I've seen them. Hoopla has a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of random Stranger Things stuff on there. Two. First one I read was Stranger Things and Dungeons and Dragons. Is which, that the one with Will? No, oh, that's. Okay. Uh, but I did read that one. Stranger Things, the other side. I like Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons more because it was between the seasons, and it was them playing D and D and how they're dealing with the trauma that happened that season through like role playing and stuff. So it was kind of cute. And then Stranger Things, other side was. It was just weird because I think they wrote it back when the first season was coming out or something, because I think some things don't correlate with Mm -hmm. stuff we know now about the upside down. Yeah, exactly. But if you're a fan of Stranger Things and you can't get enough, they're fun to read. I know there's an Erica one out Mm -hmm. and there's one with Bob. I think they just released this year. Has anyone read the novels? I have them actually checked out, but I haven't gotten what? to them yet. There's like newer ones. Yeah, I haven't consumed any Stranger Things. I think I read a couple of the comics back, but no, none of the novels. I'd like to, but I keep reading reviews and like everyone's like mixed. So yeah. I don't know if it's the I one with do Hopper it. where I think he's in New York City or something. That one looks really interesting. And then there's a graphic novel about Six, one of the other kids in the lab who may have i think it's i think it's a girl and she has 
precognizant abilities like she could see the future or whatever but I don't want to learn about new characters like that <laughs> I need to know more about the characters we have yeah I want to read the now that you, you sold me on that Dustin science camp story so I think that's going to be my next one there's a lot of the comics on Hoopla I'm pulling it up now it looks like we've gotten a few more so that'll be good which actually reminds me, you just mentioned, do we remember that episode where Eleven went off? Season I hate, two? I hate that episode. What does I anyone else think about it? I do not it. like it. I think it could have been good if they built it up more, but then it just felt like a random, like, well, it was supposed to be like a backdoor pilot or whatever. And it, it feels like that. Mm. Just yeah, I like, just didn't like it. Here's some it didn't, and it doesn't people. hold up well, like you said, with what we know now. We talked about fan theories, but this is the official version of us talking about it. Favorite fan theories for season five, which is the final season, and any personal theories of how you think the show will end or how any of the characters will end up. Vecna is Elle's dad. I'm oh, yeah. With that one. Yeah. I I'm going think- with that one. Oh. I think that's heavily. Who's the mom? Of, it's her mom. The lady. Her, oh. Terry. She names her. Oh, that's what she was. I need, to know, I need to know all about that. <laughs> Just so go on better, TikTok. <laughs> no, no. But like they better make time. If that, if that oh, were yeah. true and going to happen, they better mm-hmm. flesh that out real well. Because I'm yeah. going to need to know. I don't know if it was implied this season, but all the kids have some part of one in them blood transfusions or something because they all i'm making a hand motion which is great for a podcast i'll like (laughs) connect back to to one because they you see him drawing the blood at the end or what we like like that that he could be her dad older brother yeah i don't know either but people were saying the timeline fleshes out yeah but then too if we like say if that is the case, then that makes him L and Mike cousins. If Mike's mom is indeed Vecna's sister, so mm, that, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be bad. So I'm thinking one of those aren't true. I, I feel so like not. Mike's mom's not going to be. I feel like it's more likely that Vecna is dad I agree. Than, than I Mike's agree. mom being the sister. Mm, I agree. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like, that would be like, I don't know, that feels like a sleeper, sleeper theory, like, right, nothing that you could ever have gotten from the first four seasons would Mm. get you to that point that Mm -hmm. Mike's mom is Vecna's sister. Like, I just, it feels like when a book ends with a twist that, yeah, a twist that was nowhere laid out. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, I can't go without saying, because we kind of found this out this season that the upside down is stuck in the day that will disappeared which correlates yeah. back to the theory that will's going to be important this season and there's something up with that day in that moment or i feel like max is hopefully going to be important somehow because for my own closure that can't be the way that max's storyline ends yeah I definitely- and, if, and why would they prolong it Right, you know? like, why keep her you know. if she's not important to, like, fighting Vecna and winning in the end? I do think that she's going to be blind, and I think that's going to mean something. Ooh, I've also oh. heard that perhaps she could be Vecna's new skin suit, mm-hmm. and then a- you need to defeat her to save her type deal. Well, there was a theory that that might happen to Eddie. Oh, yes, too. Because apparently we just leave bodies in the upside down now. Just for safekeeping. <laughs> we're going to go back for them, whatever. He'll like, be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, it, it it's just weird to me, too, because then when you think about, I can't believe we went this far and didn't mention Barb. But, oh, you know, yeah. when Barb went to the oh, upside man. down, the vines ate her, basically. Yeah. yeah. But then again, when... We saw, I don't know, in this season, the boy's name that was the reporter with Nancy. Freddie. Freddie. Oh, And yeah. Chrissy. Weren't their bodies intact in the Upside Down? Yeah, so were the, but, the mom. Yes. His mom, like, yeah. were all, like, strung up. Mm-hmm. 
So it's just weird. I'm curious to see if some of these characters will come back in some capacity in the Upside Down. But it's funny because this is just so complex for me. Like my brain doesn't wrap around, you know, like the <laughs> the different villains. Like, because to me, the Mind Flayer, the big one with the tentacles, yeah. to me, that's like the biggest villain of them all. Yet yeah. it's not. Right now, it seems like Vecna is. Well, and I'll say this because each season has a different villain. They get mm -hmm. more and more intelligent as the seasons go on. Mm -hmm. Like we have a full human being that has merged with the Upside Down this season. Mm -hmm. Season three yeah. had the Mind Flare with the Filet. So that brings us back to Will because yeah. he's the one that, again, started this all. He comes back. He's in the human world. His neck is tingling every season. Mm -hmm. And I just wonder if all of, all of this is building. On that note, did anybody else hear about there's all those theories going around how Vecna was around in season one? Yeah, and he took Will. That was the a clock, theory. Yes, that yeah. he was the one who pushed him off the bike or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the clock was ticking, which mm -hmm. I never, I did not hear that at all until they replayed it. Yeah, same. It's crazy. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it's possible. <laughs> you don't see him get taken he's just it's just right. the light glows and then he's mm -hmm. gone and that shape you know and it yeah. had the big hands like that. yeah big hands um, <laughs> i don't know there's so many theories there's definitely going to be something with will and there's got to definitely be something with max but see mm -hmm. isn't this funny that we're not even talking about 11 and she's yeah. the yeah. heart of all of this does anyone else have any other theories? Or I didn't like what's really look happen? into too many theories because or any personal theories like you think is going to happen. Jonathan and Nancy are going to break up and find themselves. <laughs> we don't need them to get back together. Maybe they could remain friends, but they're going to like do their own thing and stop being whatever it is that they're being right now. Is she going to end up with Steve or? No, no. She, I, was, I don't think Nancy that. should end up with anyone. I think, I she think should Nancy just... needs to do Nancy. Nancy like, needs to yeah. be that um, I am woman, hear me roar. Like, yes. And she did that with the shotgun. And she's headed season. that way. <laughs> yeah. Is it like, this season oh, yeah. that Steve was talking about seeing six, a family? Six kids. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. And she was like, ew. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I hope she's like, nah, I already dated him. Like, I hope she doesn't go back to that. Well, shouldn't Nancy be in college next year? Yeah, yeah. they. I yeah. think they're both well, supposed I, to I be. think they're going to do a time skip. That's they my are. theory. They're going to. The kids I are heard, like 20 now. <laughs> no, I heard something that it's going to take place winter of 87. So that's a year and a half. So that's a big enough time. We're freshmen, skip. right? Aren't we in yes. 86? Yeah, we're, we're in 86. 86. So that's what, one year? Yeah, one year and then they yeah. gotta go longer. Yeah. They gotta go to like senior year. Yeah. I mean, if it were up to me, it would be their 21. <laughs> <laughs> and, Lucas, into this. and Lucas is gonna stop trying to be like with the cool kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, learned, gonna, his like, he, he learned, learned his lesson. He learned his lesson. Jason, we didn't even talk about like, we're done with oh, that. Right. He's not worth talking about. No, he's not. <laughs> Too much. Too I much didn't even notice he season. died. I had to be like, wait, <laughs> did he die? <laughs> Jason died? Oh, Jason wait. died. He got when split he... in half. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Vecna ripped through the floor or something. And then he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <In his attic. laughs> Your face is, so is going on in a journey right now. <laughs> Rewatching right now, so I'm excited. I must have looked at my phone or something. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> did. You no, if you blinked, you missed it. Yeah, you I did. definitely oh, really missed bad. that. Nice. All right, bye, Jason. See you next. <laughs> <laughs> final, <laughs> final question. Final thoughts. Who do we think is going to die in the last season? Oh, and then we'll end here. A lot of people, possibly. <laughs> I think they're a little bit chicken to kill anyone. That's, that's true. about season four. That there was going to be a body count. And oh, yeah. yes, there was, but no one, there was like no a couple her. people I cared about, but everyone else. Let's be honest, yeah. there was one person you cared about. We all cared <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, to me, that wasn't yeah, body count. If you come to me and say, say there's going to be a body count, you're talking five. about the main cast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I you're, was thinking. You're talking about sobbing. 
tears from the beginning characters. Yeah, I just hope mm-hmm. it's good. I just really just hope gonna, they don't let us down. I'm going to say it out loud. I think Will's got to go. I really yeah. think they're going to have to Will's sacrifice Will. No, I think Will 11. or I Will be or, Eleven. or Eleven. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Or do we think Mike will jump in, sacrifice himself? Uh, he should. Maybe. Because they're so in love. <laughs> Maybe. Or sacrifice yeah. himself for Will. I hope oh, Hopper doesn't do anything not. stupid if I think that does die. But I think that's how Will dies, is either save to try to save Eleven or to try to save Mike because he's got big feelings mm-hmm. and he doesn't feel like he has a place and that's mm-hmm. how yeah. he's going to get his place. I don't like it. No. I don't need a body count. I wanted them all to like make it out of this. Because I, I want to see them I, again in a spinoff. I think that it's going to be either about Mike or Eleven or both of them. And oh, no. we're going lo- to lose them. It better not don't... be about both of them. My brain just can't wrap around it how this even started. So it's like, how is it going to end? Hmm. How are they going to do? How, how is it just going to be like one day it ends? I just feel like it's so big. That's why I don't think it will. I think they got a spinoff and it's going to keep Well, going. they do have a spinoff and a, a play and all kinds of stuff. Well, the play is like... <laughs> we don't need it. Well, the like, spinoff supposedly is something nobody will ever think of, whatever that means. Huh. As long as we don't get Game of Thrones, right? Well, I think it Game might be. Can't be worse than that. <laughs> I think it might be like they go back to Joyce and Hopper in their high school days or something. That's my oh, theory. I'd be into that. But I, then again, like, that's not. Maybe I they'll find know. another dimension. Mm. <laughs> the right side up yeah i don't know there's just so many theories and possibilities um, i would love for the cast theory to be true but it's 100 percent not gonna happen <laughs> yeah i mean it just makes so much sense this was a big okay. season though i'll give them that there was yeah. a lot of tension and i don't know if it had a lot to do with did you guys like the longer episodes no, I preferred the shorter. I mean, I like the shorter ones. I like having so much content. The, the break, the two <laughs> plus, yeah. yeah, hours. Like I don't sit through movies anymore. Like no, I have problems either. with yeah. that. So the lengthy ones, especially towards the end, I did the last two in one night, and it was a lot. I love the show, but I was even like, yeah, there when was is just so end? much tension, like you know, yeah. with this season. Yeah. Like I think this yeah. was the season where I felt the most on edge, clenching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like oh my gosh, like my jaw, like what's going on? But yeah, I hope they come back with shorter episodes. I don't think they will though. I know. I think they just have so many. They things said to that tie they're. Up. They said that the episodes are going to be shorter, and they're trying to go back to the original pairings from season one. Okay, I, would, I wouldn't mind many more episodes. Just like break it up. I know. Yeah. I'd rather what have happened? a bunch of episodes than a, t- like twenty episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we, they, we don't get that anymore. Twenty we episode don't. seasons. We don't. So. We don't. I'm looking forward to it. There's just Can't so wait. much that can happen. And Got a long time to go. <laughs> I think we'll revisit this in 2024. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to do another podcast. Any other final thoughts before we leave? I think season three is my favorite. Oh, yeah. What's everyone's I favorite love, season? Yeah. Love the vibe of one. That. The season mall one was great. The mall is amazing. Season three is amazing. I used to not like season two at all, but after rewatching mm-hmm. it in preparation for season four, it's actually really good. And like yeah. the only part I really still don't like is that one episode. Whatever number she is. Eight. Eight. Mm-hmm. I don't care about that story. She line, does but... have powers that are very similar to Vecna's. Yeah. I don't know if she's coming back. I don't know. I, maybe they were like, oh, yeah, nobody likes her. So we're not going to. Yeah. Going with that. <laughs> Pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe she has a big part in the end. Who knows? I don't know. Right. Hope not. But I love season one. The OG. It's just. The OG. It's they're almost so magical. <laughs> I know. They're so oh, tiny. Yeah. And like the Christmas lights and the puzzle, like the yeah. letters. Hands down. I think the Christmas lights is my favorite thing throughout. Yeah, like the whole so thing. Good. I just love it's that. So good. Baseball bat with the nails. They're just, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. And they're just like, what's going on? Like, this is our life. We're going to fight monsters. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go home and rewatch everything. 
Yeah, again right. for like I'm almost the I'm in the middle time. of season four right now, so I'm gonna it's the beginning of season four on rewatch. Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to check out our website, theoceancountylibrary.org slash teens slash fan nation for all events happening this year in person and virtually. All titles mentioned in today's episode can be accessed free with your library card. Until next time, have a fantastic day. <laughs>